guys welcome back to my channel I know I haven't uploaded in a long time I'm so sorry I'm the worst YouTube ever but tonight I was just like let me just film I'd actually filmed a video like two months ago and I did not feel good about it so I was just like you know what? I'm just gonna not do it and then I started a new job and then life has just gotten so busy so I'm so sorry I haven't filmed in a while but I am back and with this olive green smoky eye it's very fall I use the new Natasha Denona mini gold palette this is so cute and it's only 25 bucks and I feel like it's totally worth it if you're into or interested in Natasha eyeshadows but you don't want to spend like a hundred plus dollars because her eyeshadows are expensive but this just caught my eye and I was like I really need to play with these green tones so that's what I did um yeah the nude lip kind of like a peachy coral on the cheeks but like super soft because I didn't want it to be like too many colors going on but yeah, so just keep watching this video if you want to see how I got this look. It's going to be a voiceover. I feel like I was just able to focus more doing that. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now so you can watch how I got this look. So first we're going to prime our eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is very important. Always prime your eyes, people. Then we're going in with two colors from Melt. The first one is Blur. It's this like peachy cream color. And we're going to go all over the eyes with that just to set. The primer in place then we're gonna go in with the second color unseen and we're gonna blend that into the crease and you're gonna want to take your time with blending blending doesn't happen overnight it's very important that you take your time with it and make sure that you don't have any harsh edges or lines then we're gonna go in with the Natasha mini gold palette and I'm gonna take the matte green in this palette and we're going to work that into the crease just below that unseen color. We want to set up the lid color really well. We don't want there to be too much of a harsh line between the crease and the lid. So I decided going in with this would make the most sense. And it's such a beautiful color. I feel like her mattes blend really well. And then we're going to go in with that shimmery green. And we're going to wet our brush and put that all over the lid. This color is so gorgeous. It's like a duochrome color. See the shine on that is just so pretty. I honestly bought this palette for this color alone. So then we're going to go in with the gold in the middle of the palette and we're going to put it in the middle of our eyelids with this brush. I don't think I wet it because it's pretty bumping already but I'm also going to go in with my finger to place more because I wanted a more concentrated application of it. Now we're gonna start with our face. We'll go back to the eyes later. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. And then we're gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. This is actually my first time using this foundation. Oh, sneeze. And I really liked it. I think it made my skin look really beautiful. I'm going in with a brush because I feel like it would soak into a beauty blender too much because it's pretty liquidy. Um, it smells a little bit like sunscreen. Yeah, that's me smelling the foundation. Um, and it has SPF, but it's not going to flash back, which is really cool. Now I'm going in with concealer, the Maybelline Age Rewind, and I'm putting that under my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead, and then I'm just going to blend it out. So we have a little bit of dimension to the skin. Then I'm going to pat it in with my finger because I like that best for under the eyes because it warms up the product. And then I'll blend it out with the foundation brush just so that the colors look relatively well blended. Lots of blending. Blending is important. Then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and set under my eyes. I'm also going to use it on my face as well just because I didn't want to reach for another powder. I was being lazy. But it's going to keep your makeup in place really nicely. Then I'm just going to speed through my brows. I'm only going to show one on camera because I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I actually really like the way my brow turned out. Yeah, that's me looking really proud. Bam. And then I'm going to set it with some of the Anastasia brow gel as always. I don't use any other brow gel because I don't think anything else works as good. Then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Butter Bronzer and we're going to do a little contouring on the cheekbones just so my face looks extra slim. We all want to look slim, right? 
And then under my jawline, I feel like this made my jawline look really sharp. So I might have to do this more. Like sometimes I skip over this, but you know, whatever. And then forehead bronzing as always, because we want to kind of even everything out. Want to look a little sun-kissed, even though it's basically November now. And then we're going to go in with some blush. I'm using two different ones. I'm using one from e.l.f. called Always Fiery, I believe. It's one of the primer-infused blushes. And one from Melt in Cali Dream. I wanted something with a little more color than like a nude blush, but not something that would clash with the eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Cookie Highlighter. This is so beautiful and just blingy. And I didn't want to apply too much, so I'm kind of building it up slowly but yeah the shine on this is just unreal I'm also gonna layer another highlighter on top later I'm also gonna take that and put it under the brow bone I like doing this just so that everything matches on the face and in the inner corner then we're gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury face palette and I'm gonna use the highlighter in there and I'm gonna go over all of those spots I just highlighted so brows, and then we're going to do it on the face as well. See, it's just so beautiful. Her formula, the formula of her face powders are just really nice. Then I go on the nose a little bit just to shine it up. And on the Cupid's bow, can't forget that. I'm going back in with the eyeshadow with into this darker color. And we're going to put that on the outer corner just to give a little bit more dimension there. And then we're going to blend it out a little bit just so it's not super harsh. Because I don't want this look to be super dark or anything. But it has to be blended. Then I'm taking this super old Maybelline khaki eyeliner. And we're going underneath the eye. I really love this color and I haven't pulled it out in a minute. And then we're going to go over it with that first shadow that we put on the eyelid. And it just pulls the eyes together, makes them look all nice and green. Then we're setting with Urban Decay Setting Spray. I'm going to curl my lashes too because we're not doing lashes for this look. We're just doing mascara. And you guys know by now that Benefit Roller Lash is my mascara of choice. I really... Don't know how I survived without it. It just gives your lashes the best lift and curl. And you can always get it like half off if you wait for a sale at Ulta. Then I'm just going in with this pearly MAC pencil and I get no kick for my waterline. And then we're going to line the lips. I was lining and then I realized I wasn't filming so I've already filled them in somewhat. This is a MAC lip pencil and etc. Then we're going to go in with Classic Icon 2 by KKW Beauty. Such a beautiful glossy nude. Her formula is just beautiful, honestly. Y'all should try it out. She's at Ulta now, so you can definitely get it there. And then we're going in with this Pat McGrath Bronze Astral Lip Gloss. The shine on this is just gorgeous. Or like the glitter, I guess. And we're going to layer it. Ooh, delicious. So delicious. And that's it, guys. This look was really easy, and I hope you guys liked it so much. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below what you want to see next. Love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!